in many cases it becomes necessary for us to subtract rational numbers for example suppose you brought your 3/4 meter long wooden strip and used it to make a photo frame after making the frame you found that there's still 1/4 meter left now if you want to know the length of the strip that was used to make the photo frame how will you find it out think a little absolutely correct you must subtract 1/4 meter from 3/4 meter that is here you have to subtract two rational numbers so let's find out how to perform this calculation let's find the result of 3/4 minus 1/4 to find the result we convert the operation of subtraction into the operation of addition for this we keep the first number as it is then change the sign of subtraction to addition and then add the additive inverse of the second number the additive inverse of a number is a number that when added to the given number results in zero here the additive inverse of 1 by 4 is minus 1 by 4 thus we have converted 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 to 3 by 4 plus minus 1 by 4 after this step we make the denominator of the rational numbers equal since the denominators are already equal we ignore this we can solve this using the number line also let us find the result on the number line for this first we draw a line and mark integers on it each unit here shows a distance of 1 meter now here we see that both the rational numbers have denominator 4 from the denominator we get to know that each unit should be divided into four equal parts so we divide each unit of the number line into four equal parts and name them as 1/4 2/4 3/4 to the right of 0 and on the left minus 1 by 4 minus 2 by 4 minus 3 by 4 now we see that the first number is 3 by 4 so we find the position of 3 by 4 on the number line then we see that the second number is minus 1 by 4 which is a negative rational number so based on the numerator of the second number we move that much to the left of 3 by 4 here the numerator is 1 so we will move one step since one step is equal to 1/4 unit therefore one step means a distance of 1/4 meter so we can also say that we move 1/4 unit distance to the left of 3/4 with this we arrive at 2 by 4 which is the result of 3 by 4 plus minus 1 by 4 the result of the subtraction can be obtained without a number line as well it is also necessary that we convert the operation of subtraction into the operation of addition then we see that the denominators are equal so we keep the denominator as it is and add the numerators this way we get a result 2 by 4 and simplify it to 1 by 2 Now let's understand it with another example. Suppose we have to find out the result of minus forty-two by eight minus minus seventeen by six. So let's find the result of the subtraction. First, we convert the operation of subtraction into addition. For this, we write the first number as it is, then change the sign of the subtraction to addition, and then write the additive inverse of the second number. Here, the additive inverse of minus seventeen by six. is 17 by 6 which is what we will write in the second place that is minus 42 by 8 minus minus 17 by 6 is equal to minus 42 by 8 plus 17 by 6 now we see that denominators of these two rational numbers are not equal to make them equal we use lcm lcm of 8 and 6 is 24 so we will turn denominators of both rational numbers into 24 for this we multiply the numerator and the denominator of minus 42 by 8 by 3 and the numerator and denominator of 17 by 6 by 4 this will make the question minus 126 by 24 plus 68 by 24 when denominators are equal we add the numerators and keep the denominator the same the sum of the numerators is minus 126 plus 68 which is equal to minus 58 so we get the answer as minus 58 by 24 which can be simplified to minus 29 by 12 so today we have learned the subtraction of rational numbers the next video numbers 
Suresh bought five and a half meter length of cloth. Of that, he gave two and a quarter meter length of cloth to his brother. Find the length of the remaining cloth. The total length of the cloth purchased is five and a half meters. Of that, Suresh gave a piece of two and a quarter meter length to his brother. This means two and a quarter meter long piece was taken out of this cloth. Therefore, the length of the remaining cloth piece can be determined by subtracting five and a half minus two and a quarter. To subtract, we write both mixed rational numbers in improper form. For example, to write five and a half in improper form, we multiply five and two and add one to get a numerator of eleven. With this, we keep the denominator the same and write five and a half as eleven by two. Will you be able to tell how we express this in improper form? Think a little. Absolutely right. We write this as 9 by 4 and now we subtract 11 by 2 minus 9 by 4. Now, we convert the operation of subtraction into addition. For this, we write the first number as it is, then change the sign of the subtraction to the sign of addition and write the additive inverse of the second number as minus 9 by 4. Now let's find the result. Here, denominators of the two rational numbers are not equal. So we have to first make the denominators equal. To do so, we find the LCM of the denominators of both rational numbers. Here, the LCM of the denominator of 11 by 2 and minus 9 by 4 is 4. The denominator of minus 9 by 4 is already 4, so we will not change it. But the denominator of 11 by 2 is not 4. To make it 4, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. This will give us the rational number 22 by 4. Now, denominators of the two rational numbers are equal, so we add the numerators and keep the denominators the same. Thus, we say that Suresh has 13 by 4 meter, which is 3 and 1 fourth meter length of cloth left. Example 2. Find minus 13 by 16 minus 18 by 21. Let us first convert the operation of subtraction into addition. For this, we keep the first number as it is, change the sign of subtraction to addition and write the additive inverse of the second number. This now makes our question minus 13 by 16 plus minus 18 by 21. To solve this, let's make the denominators equal by finding the LCM. The LCM of 16 and 21 is 336. To make the denominator of minus 13 by 16, 336, we multiply both its numerator and denominator by 21. And to make the denominator of minus 18 by 21 as 336, we multiply both its numerator and denominator by 16. This will give us the equivalent rational number of minus 13 by 16 as minus 273 by 336 and the equivalent rational number of minus 18 by 21 as minus 288 by 336. Now we add these two. Since the denominators are equal, we add the numerators and keep the denominators the same. This will give us a result minus 561 by 336. Here, HCF of the numerator and denominator is 3. So, we divide both by 3 and express it in its standard form, which is minus 187 by 112. Try this. Here is a magic square in which the sum of each row is 3 by 4. Find the value that rational numbers A, B and C represent. We have seen examples of subtraction of rational numbers. In the next video, we will clear up some misconception 1. Suppose the rise in temperature is denoted by a positive rational number and the fall is denoted by a negative rational number. Use this to solve the following question. One day, the temperature in a place in the mountains was 59 by 3 degrees centigrade but due to sudden change in atmosphere, the temperature shows a change of minus 2 by 3 degrees centigrade. What will be the temperature after the change? In the context of rational numbers, children often have difficulty in understanding the question. For example, to solve this question, children are not able to decide whether they have to add 59 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 or subtract. In order to get the answer, some children subtract both these rational numbers and get the result as 61 by 3 
which is wrong. Let's get the right answer. Here, the change is given in negative rational numbers. Can you tell me what this means? Think a little. Absolutely correct. The negative sign tells us that the temperature is declining. If the temperature is falling, the answer cannot be 61 by 3 because it is more than 59 by 3. The correct understanding is that the initial state is subtracted from the final state to obtain the change. Like here, temperature change is equal to final temperature minus initial temperature. We can write this as final temperature is equal to change in temperature plus initial temperature. So this means we have to add both rational numbers. 59 by 3 plus minus 2 by 3 is equal to 57 by 3 which is equal to 19 degrees centigrade. That is, the correct answer is option 2. Now let's understand some common mistakes. If children are asked what will be the result of minus 5 by 6, minus 4 by 6, then some children start thinking that it is an example of operation of subtraction. To find the result, they ignore the symbol of the first number and subtract 4 by 6 from 5 by 6, which gives them the wrong result of 1 by 6. To avoid this confusion, related to the operation, we express this operation by taking the additive inverse of the second number in the sum minus 5 by 6 plus minus 4 by 6. Now here, we see that the sign of both the numbers are the same. When the sign of both the numbers is the same in the operation of the sum, then we add these numbers. So by adding these numbers, we get minus 9 by 6. While finding the result of minus 5 by 6 minus 4 by 6, some children also think that since both are negative numbers, the answer will be positive. So they get the result 9 by 6 when the correct result is minus 9 by 6. The reason for this misconception is that they remember negative and negative is positive and use it for all operations. While this understanding is only true for multiplication and division operations and not for addition or subtraction. We will get to know it better when we see videos involving multiplication and division. If children are asked to subtract a negative rational number from a positive rational number, will the result be larger or smaller than both numbers? Often children answer that the result will be smaller. Their misconception behind this answer is that smaller numbers are always obtained by subtraction. Like our question is to find the result of 9 by 8 minus minus 5 by 8. For this, we can write it in the form 9 by 8 plus 5 by 8. Now, if we solve it, we will get the answer 14 by 8, which is larger number than both rational numbers. So keep in mind that subtracting a negative number from a positive number results in a large number. I hope your misconceptions have gone away now. Today, we have seen the misconceptions and common mistakes related to subtraction of rational numbers.